pretty much the pinnacle of what mankind has accomplished thus far in the technological realm. A lot of people saw the movie Short Circuit in 1987, right? Yeah. And you probably watched it and were thinking, how are we going to top this? What can they do that goes beyond Johnny Five getting on with Molly Ringwald or whatever her name was? And that's why I'm here tonight, basically. I'm here to show you what my friends at MIT can do for a measly 80 grand a year. I have been working night and day to make sure these things are in top physical form. Technological form. As you can see, to my left is the P-Box. This one was built by Department A3 at MIT. These guys, I gotta thank, I can't thank them enough. They're in the back over here and I wanna thank you guys for lending these guys to me for one show. For two shows really, but I think it was awesome that you would do that because the first show went so crappy that it was really the right thing to do to try and make it up to me. And this one, this actually is not from NASA, this is Star Drummer. You can see what I can do with him. You can see what kind of equipment I have at my disposal. This is also a supercomputer that I built out of twisty ties and magnets. And this one, G1FM, Actually, it was half finished by the MIT department, they did half of it, but they had to send it over because of the brain. Basically, they did the automation, they did the arms, they did the legs, that's MIT, that's what they do. That's why they get paid. But they're not very good with the head, with the head circuitry, so they brought it over to NASA. And NASA sat down and was like, these bitches are gonna be easy. We're gonna throw in an HD 1200 and make this shit work. And I said, thanks to my friends at NASA, Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Aldridge, um, all those dudes over there did amazing things for music. But no further ado, I'm gonna show you what these things can do. Thank you. Boss, you guys are beautiful. I hope you enjoy this show. This is an amazing show. These are amazing robots. I'm an amazing rapper. We're gonna start it on the friendly tip. Cause the truth is a lot of people think that robots and humans can't get along. But they can, people. Because Will Smith puts out a movie that tells you that some robot is gonna go angry, just because you've seen it in a hundred movies doesn't make it so. No. The truth is, you just gotta know some guys at MIT and NASA. You can make a miracle work. Check it. There comes a time when you hear a certain call.
sorry, sorry. I apologize. Okay. Bye. Thank you, NASA. Thanks, G1FM, the penis. I'm going to take over his parts for the rest of the show. I want to apologize for all you. You came out to see a technological show, and he dropped the ball. But how do I know what's a he? I don't really know. Basically, he looks masculine. He's got broad shoulders. I'm going to take over his parts. I'm like, 